What the hell are you doing here? I suggest you get out before I throw you out. How the other half live, eh? Quaffing champagne while poor old Robert's being fed by a tube. <laughs> well, we all know who's to blame for that. Oh, I bet you do. You know it's not Aaron because it was one of you lot. Oh, come on, Kay, not now. Oh, I'm sorry, darling, I'm spoiling the party. Well, how about we get it started with a nice little game, eh? Cluedo's always a good one, I reckon. So, was it Professor Plum, desperate to protect his millions, made Robert a permanently silent partner, did you? I'm warning you. Or was it little Colonel messed up here, eh? Already got away with sexual assault. Thought you'd get away with murder too, eh? No. No, I reckon it's Mrs White here who has the biggest motive. How humiliating to have the whole world know you're so bad in bed, you turn your husband gay. Yeah, you come in here flinging your pathetic theories around. Oh, I reckon I'm bang on. The poor little rich girl always has to have her own way, and when she doesn't, somebody else suffers. Get out, or I'm calling the police. You can huff and puff all you want, but the police seem to think they've got their man. The police are idiots. And you think you can buy this lot off with some champagne and some food? They'll soon see you for what you are, a cold-hearted bitch. <laughs> you just can't accept what Aaron's done. Aaron's innocent. Aaron is a liar. He's got motive and the police have evidence. Have I missed much? All Aaron did wrong was sleep with your husband because you couldn't keep him satisfied. And because of that, he could spend the rest of his life in jail. Why should I care? Robert and Aaron ruined my life. They deserve to suffer, and I'm glad that they are because they both got what was coming to them. Chrissy, you take that back! Looks like I've touched a nerve. <laughs>